Justin Verlander making his seventh All-Star appearance. And uh, Justin, it's great to have you with us up here. Uh, and first of all, congratulations, man. A couple days ago, your wife Kate Upton announcing you're going to be a dad. So what's yeah. that feeling like? Uh, it's pretty exciting, man. Nervous, <laughs> excited. You know, uh, it's 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 a great it's a great feeling, man. I'm ready for a new chapter in uh, in our lives. Got some catch up to do. I got four. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep I'll keep working on it. <laughs> Hey, JV, Alex here. Congrats on, on the new baby. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I think we've said it all with you with, you know, the MVP and what you did in the World Series last year. A lot of people don't know that you wear number 35 because of the big hurt, Frank. That's Town, right. Which I love that. But the latest reveal, I want to ask you, on the plane on Sunday with your teammates, yeah. you showed a little shiggy, a reveal, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your new dance moves. What, is, what do you got on that? Yeah, you know, Bregman uh, Bregman keeps up to date with pop culture, and he's like, hey, man, let's do this dance. So, you know, uh, you know, trying to fit in with the young guys. And I'm awesome. like, all right, all right, let's do it. Uh, and then about halfway through, I, I, I didn't know what else to do. Uh, and I've shown all my moves already, so I just went ahead and sat down, and then uh, and then uh, Breg is uh, shaking his butt in my face. So what else do you do? You you slap it. Tremendous, <laughs> tremendous. You dance like a white guy, boy. Let me oh, tell you. Oh come on, man! You like those <laughs> moves? Who are you kidding? That's called the All Star Boogie. <laughs> hey, uh, Justin, this big poppy right here, man. How are you, man? I'm Congratulations doing great. once again. Thank you. Hey, I had a big question for you. I remember a couple of years ago, you were having some arm issues. Yeah. Bounce back. I would like to know how much it have to take you to get prepared because you know as we get older yeah. you know we start it's a challenge every day to get prepared to go out there and compete but it seems like you you, you put on play the experience yeah before you take the mound every five days and man let me tell you what i have been seeing the past couple of years this is a justin berlander that i faced at the beginning of his career yeah, thank you, man. A lot of hard work. You know that. You guys all know that. Uh, you know, as you get older, you need to make some adjustments. I had uh, core surgery, and that kind of like I, I hit a fork in the road in my career where I either needed to make some adjustments and change some things, or I was going to be out of the game. Um, and, and obviously, that's an easy decision. So uh, I, I kind of completely revamped my body, uh, how I think about preparing myself to pitch, and how I prepare in the off season, and everything that I do in season, maintenance wise. And um, you know, man, it, it was hard. Uh, competing at this level when I was competing against myself being healthy as well. You know, this game's hard enough when you're going out there against the best in the world. When you have to when you have to worry about what's going on with your arm as well, uh, it's, it, it's all the harder. So uh, honestly, the last couple years, man, it's just uh, I got back to being healthy and got back to my arm not hurting uh, and just got, was able to go out there and play the game that I've loved and, and have fun and compete. Got you down as a bad boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, is Frank. I got a serious baseball question for you. You know, you're sporting a 2.04 ERA in baseball ever since you've been with the, with the Astros. That's the best in baseball. One question here. I want to go inside your clubhouse. Mm -hmm. How determined is this team to repeat this year? Uh, very. Uh, that's one of the that's one of the best things uh, about this team, man. Like if, if I were to come in to this organization uh, this offseason instead of being there last year, I, I would have never guessed that they won a World Series. That's how hungry they were, you know, working just as hard as ever, if not harder, man. That, and and, and that atmosphere, it just breeds success, man. It's, it's a lot of fun to be in here with these guys, these young guys. Uh, it, it's honestly like showing up and working with 24 of your best friends every day, man. It's a, it's, it's a great place to work. You know, Justin, I'm curious, you know, last such a big story you know, at the waiver deadline. You, of course, a huge acquisition, and, and, you know, the Astros go on, and you guys win the whole thing. This year you're playing great. You're playing great ball. Do you need another big acquisition. We just started the show talking about Manny Machado, how he may be on the move. Yeah. How do you feel when you're playing so well, you still feel like you need upgrades as a team? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's always the have and have nots. You know, it's like it, it, when you're part of a team every day and you play as much baseball as we do, you know, there, there's always holes that you can see and you can always find a way to get better. Um, you, we're in a weird transition right now in baseball where you've got some teams that are not trying to compete and you've got some teams that are really, really good. So uh, I, I think you're in a, in a situation where you can almost forecast kind of what you need against said teams in the playoffs if you make it. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't know if we'll make a move. I envision us probably doing so. Um, but that's, you know, that's out, of our, that's out of our hands. And we just, you know, like I said, that same atmosphere that these guys are always hungry, it's kind of that same feeling is just go play ball, win baseball games, and let whatever else happens happen. Justin, what are the chances to call your little baby Poppy? <laughs> um, zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Big Poppy, yeah. Poppy yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, that's the best answer in the history of the show, Justin. <laughs> Go enjoy tonight. Thanks for taking the time to do this. All right, guys. Good talking to you. See you.